down south slanging, rolling with these hustlers, trying to get rid of all you haters and you bust. Down south slanging, rolling with these hustlers, trying to get rid of all you haters and you bust. What's the sense of it all? Pimping powder and trying to make pennies. See, lying on the stand, guess hell ain't harder than prison. Who knows? In the 90s, the traffic stop, get you tickets, a joke. Now they find you a traffic stop, get you riddled with holes. We be living too fast, we be sipping the slow. One my n was selling work, now he's selling no shows. I'm EJ, so that's growth. Hello and welcome to episode number 20 of WITM Season 7. And the card's a little bit different than we originally advertised at the end of the previous episode because the new DLC came on today and when I removed the cause I had of AK and Wesley and added the DLCs, it rebooked the card. Bloody Cabbages are still in action, but this time they'll be taking on, rather than the Grizzled Young Veterans, Josh Briggs and Brooks Jensen, a tag team they have never faced before, and an important tag team matchup. If the Bloody Cabbages win, they secure themselves a tag team title opportunity during WrestleMania weekend at NXT Stand Deliver. If they lose, there's still a possibility they could be out in that matchup because it will be a triple threat tag team match for the titles. But obviously a lot easier if they win here in the main event and defeat Josh Briggs and Brooks Jensen. Ray K47 and Sam Rage, who are, are in action, will also be paying close attention to this episode. They are the number one and number two contenders to the NXT Women's Championship. And there will be a fatal four-way for the titles at San Deliver. So they need to be in the top three in order to get into that matchup. So a huge go-home NXT before Stand Deliver. Our matchup is Bloody Cabbages versus Josh Briggs and Brooks Jensen in the main event of XT 2.0 with huge title implications. Let's get that matchup underway.
Irish Bell. This tag team match is underway. Youngblood starts off for Bloody Cabbages. Josh Briggs gets things started for Briggs and Jensen. And Youngblood takes play and connects with a diving elbow. Now he forces Briggs up, or maybe not. Stomps to the back. Now going to work on the arm. And pulling back on the fingers, trying to neutralize some of that power. And double knees to the back. Briggs forced up. They lock up. Neck breaker by Youngblood and Briggs' body is already in the yellow zone and in comes Cavages, maybe not. He goes for cover instead. And Briggs powers out at one. Now Briggs forced up. Youngblood striking away. Bloody Cabbage is in full control here early on in this matchup. Jensen wants to tag, and as Youngblood taunts, he'll they'll make the tag. Suplex by Jensen to stun Youngblood. Or I'm sorry, I guess that's Briggs on the outside that's stunned, but Jensen striking away. And a slam. Jensen goes for cover. And gets a one count. Now a right from Jensen. Jensen misses with a grapple and Youngblood connects with one. Jensen forced up. Beautiful back kick by Youngblood and now Cavages will make his way into this matchup. There's a right from Jensen. And a suplex. In comes Josh Briggs. And Cavages strikes away. Headbutt by Briggs. And a series of strikes. And another headbutt to send Cavages crashing into the canvas. Briggs goes for cover. And Cavages powers out at one and a half. Now Briggs with a power slam. And a splash. In comes Brooks Jensen. Right from Jensen. And a suplex. Momentum's starting to swing in favor of Brooks and Jensen after Bloody Cavages was hot early on in this matchup. Cavages has his body and head in the yellow zone. Drop kick by Cabbages. In comes Youngblood. They lock up. Slam by Youngblood and now tagging the leg. Kick to the back. Jensen forced up. And a nice springboard DDT by Youngblood, but once again, as Youngblood taunts, that allows the opponents to make a tag, but he connects with the stunner. And nearly securing the victory and the title opportunity, but Briggs is able to power out at two and a half. Uh, yet another stunner connects. And in comes Cabbages. And he's going to try to take advantage of Youngblood's offense and go for cover. And Briggs powers out at one and a half. Cabbages looking to take flight. And elects not to, just a little bit too much of a distance. Briggs able to avoid the kick and now connecting with a suplex. And a massive lariat. He goes for cover. And Briggs and Jensen nearly spoiling the title hopes of Cabbages and Youngblood perhaps. But this match continues at two and a half. We have a good back and forth matchup on our hands. Elbow strike by Jensen. And he's getting fired up. Drop kick by Cabbages who has uh, his head in the orange zone now. 
Cabbages avoids the lariat. And now goes for cover after the total whirl. And Jensen powers out at one and a half. What will it take to keep one of these teams down? Irish rip into the corner. STO by Cabbages. In comes Youngblood, who has a finisher built up. Power bomb by Jensen, who goes into a cover. And Youngblood powers out at two. Jensen goes for a lariat. Youngblood evades. Neckbreaker. He has two finishers built up now, but it, rather than going for them, he elects to bring in cabbages. Jensen forced up. Irish up into the corner. Kick to the groin. Now he's going for a signature maneuver, the firm handshake. Yes, I got that from DD. DDT. Goes for cover. And Bloody Cabbages secured the win and a title opportunity at Stand Deliver by winning this matchup. Here are your winners! You say you were living a good life. Tell me what it looked like without the mention of money or anything you could buy. Okay, now it's time for your results and rankings update for the Go Home Edition of NXT 2.0 prior to Stand and Deliver. In non-title action, Legado del Fantasma defeated Idris Inoufe and Malik Blade. Imperium defeated Grizzled Young Veterans. In a random eight-woman tag team match, Casey Catanzaro, Caden Carter, the NXT Women's Champion Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai defeat Toxic Attraction and Nikita Lyons. Braun Breaker defeated Dexter Loomis. And in our WITM matchup, Bloody Cabbages defeated Briggs and Jensen. How does that affect the rankings on XQ 2.0? Have Bloody Cabbages, Ray K47, and Sam Ray secured themselves title opportunities as they deliver? It's time to find out. The women's tag team champions are Toxic Attraction. Number contender is Casey Catanzaro and Kaden Carter. The NXT Women's Champion is Raquel Gonzalez, number contender Ray K47, number two Sam Rage, and number three Dakota Kai. Those four women will face off at NXT st Stand Deliver in a fatal four-way for the NXT Women's Championship. Raquel Gonzalez defends versus Ray K47, Sam Rage, and Dakota Kai, which means there's a 50% chance that a WIG member will leave Stand and Deliver as the NXT Women's Champion. Number four, Kaylee Ray. Number five, Cora Jade. Number six, Mandy Rose. Number seven, Electra Lopez. Number eight, Ivy Nile. Number nine, Lash Legend. Number ten, Saray. Number eleven, Wendy Chu. Number twelve, Indy Hartwell. Number thirteen, Tiffany Stratton. Number fourteen, Nikita Lyons. The NXT Tag Team Champions are Legado del Fantasma. Number one, Contenders, Bloody Cabbages. Number two, Imperium. Those three teams will face off at NXT San Deliver for and a triple threat likely tornado tag match for the NXT tag team titles. Legal Del Fantasma defending against Bloody Cabbages and Imperium. Number three, Chase University. Number four, Jensen and Briggs. Number five, and this bottom part's all messed up, but number five should be Creed Brothers. Number six, Inofe and Blade. And number seven, Grizzled Young Veterans. The North American champion is Grayson Waller, number contender Sanga, number two Cameron Grimes, number three Tony D'Angelo, number four Trick Williams, number five Von Wagner, number six Cheyenne Quinn, number seven Solo Sokoa, number eight Carmelo Hayes, number nine A-Kid, and number ten Wes Lee. The NXT champion is Roderick Strong, number contender Santos Escobar, number two Walter, number three Tommaso Ciampa, number four Joe Gacy, number five Braun Breaker, number six L.A. Knight, and number seven Dexter Loomis. So now we move on to NXT UK. We already know there will not be any WIT matches on that card, so we will sim 
and we'll be back in a moment with your results and rankings update. Okay, and here are your results for NXT UK. Gallus defeated Oliver Carter and Ashton Smith. And non total action, Mustache Mountain defeated Pretty Deadly. Also non total action, the UK champion Ilya Dragon defeated Noam Dar. And yet again non total action, Blair Davenport defeated Miko Satamura. Now, does that affect the rankings on NXT UK? Let's find out. The UK Women's Champion is Blair Davenport, number contender Amale, number two Stevie Turner, number three Valentina Faraz, number four Miko Satamura, number five Ulyssa Leon, number six Aaliyah James, number seven Isla Dawn, number eight Jenny, excuse me, number nine Nina Samuels, and number ten Shia Brookside. The UK Tag Team Champions are Mustache Mountain, number one contenders Gallus, number two Rohan Raja and Tiamon. Number three, Flash Morgan Webster and Mark Andrews. Number four, Pretty Deadly. And number five, Smith and Carter. The UK champion is Ilya Dragunov. Number contender, Jordan Devlin. Number two, Noam Dar. Number three, Kenny Williams. Number four, Primate. Number five, Sam Gradwell. Number six, Wolfgang. And number seven, Rampage Brown. So now we move on to the Go Home Smackdown prior to WrestleMania. Will we see Corey in action? And also, since it is the Go Home SmackDown, there will be a Raw Superstars feature on the card as well, so we could possibly see Dalton Roush, DJ Rage, and or Austin Rage. I will view the card in just a moment. Okay, and we will have two WITM matches on the Go Home SmackDown prior to WrestleMania. The first one sees... Raw single superstars team with SmackDown tag teams is going to be Seth Rollins of Raw teaming with the Usos of SmackDown to take on Austin Rage of Raw teaming with the New Day of SmackDown, the SmackDown tag team champions. And then we have the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal normally taking place at WrestleMania, but this year taking place on the Go Home SmackDown is going to see. Finn Balor of Raw, Madcap Moss of SmackDown, Damian Priest of Raw, Akira Tozawa of Raw, Omos of Raw, Mansoor, Ricochet, and Corey finally in action for first time in about a month of SmackDown competing to for the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal Trophy. So two WITM matches and they go home SmackDown in episode number 21, but that does it for episode number 20. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single moment of WITM actions. We are ever so close to WrestleMania until episode number 21, where Austin Rage and New Day take on Seth Rollins and the Usos, and Corey competes in the eight-man Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. This is Corey, WITM, Car Wrestling, signing off.